What we're going to do is uh, we're going to head out to the hangar and um, I, uh, I was somewhat concerned over the paint starting to crack on my Cherokee's wingtips. Now um, uh, it's, uh, it's colored, it's a dark color, it's a dark blue and uh, I'm, uh, you know, it, it just, uh, there were these spider web cracks all over it and uh, I, uh, I didn't, didn't like the look of it at all. Um, so then I did some research on it and I found out that uh, it's not the paint that's cracking. Uh, the cause of the paint cracking is because the, uh, the fiberglass underneath uh, the resin is starting to crack. So uh, what um, I, uh, I've done is um, I've purchased some uh, fiberglass kit and uh, what we're going to do is uh, head out to the hangar and fortunately I've got a hangar now uh, where I can do this work in. Now I've got a good friend of mine that's uh, giving me a hand who's familiar with fiberglass and so forth and uh, so uh, we'll be heading out there and uh, and uh, doing this and uh, you can just follow along with me as I'm doing it. Hopefully we're getting it all right and uh, and uh, well, you can tell me one way or the other whether it's right or wrong. Anyway just tag along with me and um, we'll, uh, we'll see you out the hangar. What we're going to do today is we are going to uh, remove the paint and uh, all the uh, goodies off the uh, wingtips. Okay so this is uh, the uh, right wingtip and you can see we've already started now if you look at this, you'll, you can see where all the cracks are. Uh, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit or get a little closer here. And you'll notice there's quite a few cracks still right in the, in the uh, well actually it's right in the paint there and it goes right through into the fiberglass. Now we're going to strip all of this down. Uh, the bottom has to be done yet. Okay, now uh, the next thing that we're going to have to do is uh, remove these screws here. So you can see these screws, all these screws have to come out and what we're going to end up doing is basically um, we're going we're gonna to just rough this up this stuff, because there was no cracks at all in here so we're just going to rough this paint up but we still have to remove these screws and we're going to do that for the whole section out here so I got my handy dandy Black & Decker unscrewer and uh, we're going to use that to take this off Okay, so uh, as you can see, we've uh, removed uh, most of the screws. We just left the ones on uh, on this uh, end here, and uh, on the other end there's one uh, as well. But uh, all of these we've removed, as you can see all the way up here. And the reason being is we want to get uh, rid of some of the uh, uh, paint that's still left underneath here. Uh, but there's no cracks or anything going on uh, to uh, any of these holes. So uh, what we want to do is just rough this paint up. And uh, I've uh, removed everything I could off this part of the wing here, as you can see. Uh, and if you look really closely, you can see the cracks. And they actually extend down into the fiberglass. So what we're going to do, we didn't want to go all the way down, because then you start hitting the fiberglass. So uh, this, the, the crack parts uh, will be filled full of resin. All of this stuff will be filled full of resin. This part here we just roughed, uh, right here, this is just roughed up to the edge of the wing. And what we're going to end up doing, instead of painting it blue again to match this over here, which is going to be a bit of a problem, we decided just to leave it white. So I've got white primer and white uh, glossy type paint and that'll be like the rest of the airplane. And uh, so this, uh, we just wiped it down with a nice wet uh, towel to get rid of the, you'll see there's a lot of blue, blue uh, paint uh, stain on here. And uh, so what we've done is wiped this all down and we've done the same with the other side. So we put this uh, tape all along the bottom right here and uh, that'll uh, give us an edge or we won't get an edge building up out here then. Uh, so if we do, we'll just have an edge uh, and we can just rip it off with taking, taking the tape off. Uh, and the bottom of this actually, we just looked at the bottom, it doesn't look bad at all. Uh, I'm just looking at the bottom here right now and uh, there we are. There's the bottom. So basically uh, the bottom part, because it probably is uh, not affected by the sun as much, uh, doesn't have as many cracks in it. Uh, so uh, the bottom part shouldn't be too uh, hard to do. Uh, we'll probably just be uh, cra uh, sanding uh, where the cracked areas are and filling them in with resin. Okay, now we're, uh, we're mixing this resin and uh, it's 10 drops of this thing to 4 ounces no, 40 drops of this hardener, thickener, whatever they call it, to four ounces of this stuff here. Okay. Now, one thing to remember, 
when you're putting this cap back on guys you know be sure you clean up around it or you'll never get this cap off because it'll just it'll harden like cement in there so wipe that cap area off okay so now we are applying the resin with the hardener okay and we're putting it on nice and evenly as you can see Ed's doing a heck of a job here while I'm while I'm filming all this look at that eh? see it was nice and smooth and you can see the cracks those cracks that you see basically they're gonna all be filled in with that resin and then after we finish both wingtips we're gonna let it dry and then we're gonna put a coat of uh, then we're gonna sand it I guess we're gonna have to sand it until it's nice and smooth that's the whole idea I gather and the cracks are so the cracks filled. are all nicely filled in with this resin So now you can see why we, uh, why Ed thought it was a good idea to put that uh, tape on the bottom because we're going to get a straight edge there now instead of a big blob of resin just hanging on the bottom there. It's uh, if it is, it's just going to come off with the uh, uh, with the um, when we t rip the paint, uh, t tape off. Uh, that's this stuff here. So that uh, that gives it a nice straight edge. Then this is the other side. Uh, this would be the right side that's being done right now. So there you go, that's what it looks like with the resin on it. And you can see actually the coating that's on here. There's quite a, quite a buildup of uh, resin uh, coating right up in here. Uh, you can see the reflection of the sun on it. Okay, so what we've done uh, is we uh, basically uh, lightly sanded this uh, area. And now we're going to just put another coat on top of it. It uh, feels pretty smooth, but there's still some lumps in it that we'll probably have to sand out. And, uh, yeah, and then we're going to take a tack rag, basically, and, and get the, uh, the dust that's on there off of it. Okay, so there you are, folks. That's a tack rag. I don't know. Can you see that? Hold, hold your hand still for a sec, Ed. What is that? Just a, a, Just a tacky, a tacky cheesecloth. Well, it's like a cheesecloth. It's a little bit damp. It's got kind of a sticky touch to it. Okay, and that takes the dust out of it, does it? Well, dust, yeah, what's on there. Okay. Okay, so there's a second coat going on. Okay, so uh, we got the uh, coats of uh, resin on, and uh, now we're just going to sand the, uh, the tips and uh, smooth it down somewhat. And then whatever's finished, like once we finish uh, sanding that, we'll put some primer on it and see if we can, uh, any of the cracks, which, uh, uh, which are still, well, you can actually still feel some of it. Uh, we'll probably put some uh, primer, sandable primer on that and uh, finish off the rest of it uh, to make it nice and smooth. Okay, what you see out here now is the, uh, that sandable primer on there that's thicker than the normal primer and uh, it's uh, filled in the cracks quite nicely actually uh, if you look you you probably won't even see some of the cracks anymore there's still a little bit over in here another coat. but there's going to be another coat put on that says it so uh, basically uh, that's looking pretty good yeah the cracks are all starting to disappear on there quite nicely tip which uh, as you can see now has been removed that's uh, what you're looking at so it's uh, it's actually looking pretty good in there there's no uh, had a you have to disconnect the uh, nav light assembly out here so that wasn't a big deal that takes about three screws so but uh, while we're at it what we're going to do is just check the connections out here make sure she's still grounded well uh, so we don't have to take it apart again and check for any corrosion uh, so we can just take a boo in there. Looks, looks reasonably good. Okay. And then what we've got is this is the uh, piece of uh, the uh, bottom part 
of the of the tip of the wing tip the the other side we've already done basically we still have to paint it but you'll notice it uh, it uh, we're just scuffing it up because uh, there's only a few areas right here where there's uh, where there's any cracks the rest is all nice there's no problem so what we've done is we've just roughened it up uh, using the sander and uh, we'll be putting a primer coat on there as well and we'll see how it goes with the other side okay well we got to the point where we're now putting a uh, white primer on it as you can see it's just spraying it on there now and uh, we had to clean it all off first of course took uh, some wet towels and uh, found out some more rough spots so basically we got it down to a point now where the white primer goes on then we'll check to see if there's any little bulges or uneven surfaces and we'll sand them out just hand sand them and uh, then we'll put the finishing coat on her which is the glossy white that's uh, what the uh, left wing tip looks like uh, with the primer coat on it it uh, will still require uh, a little bit more work on it because there's some uh, rough areas in it okay and there's the uh, the other the right side one it's just sitting out in the sun here drying now as well so they both have their white primer coat on it and now we might have to put uh, that uh, gray primer coat on it just to see where there's any irregularities and uh, that we can sand out that's what the plane looks like without wingtips square it off <laughs> we paint the uh, he's got uh, sandable primer it's a gray color and we're painting that, or spray painting that over the uh, white primer coat. And uh, then we'll have to have a look at it, do a little bit of sanding, and uh, hopefully then we'll be ready for the, uh, for the next coat. Uh, and that'll be the finished coat of the glossy paint. So there you are, this is the, uh, the other side. Uh, this will be the uh, right side and uh, it's already got the primer gray primer sandable primer uh, pinged on it the gray gray stuff so okay now we got uh, Ed's doing some uh, wet wet sanding wet and sanding. and that takes uh, some of the uh, lumps off of it well, I would assume or the high spots or it reveals the high spots okay spots. see there's there's a man who knows everything about bodywork. So we got some uh, real fine sandpaper, or actually it's, uh, what was it called, wet? 400 wet and dry. Four, 400? Yeah. Okay, 400 wet and dry. And uh, so you can see the, um, that gray primer, sandable primer is coming off. And uh, that's just going to reveal some of the deficiencies in, in it before we put the actual finishing paint on it. So we still have to do this with the other side as well. Okay what's been done now is we've put probably about three coats of of uh, sandable primer gray on here and uh, just Try to find all these little flaws that you see, little lines and so forth. Try to get them filled in and then use the uh, wet sandpaper technique to uh, sand them all out. And we're just about finished now. The, uh, the one, that's the last one, hopefully, the last coat that we have to put on this one. And then this one over here this is uh, this one's done now you'll still see some gray on there but that's all going to be painted over with the white okay now as you can see those little brown flecks that we've got on there actually is a body filler we uh, under closer examination found that there are still some lines uh, that uh, wouldn't sand out so uh, we've used what's this stuff called here Ed 
surfacing putty. Yeah, it's right here. This is this is the stuff right here. Uh, oh, auto body glazing putty. Okay, and then we used uh, just a normal uh, what's this? Razor, a razor. razor blade. Yeah, razor blade thing. I so guess it's got a little bit of bend to it, so you can just it nail it right puts in. Puts it on there. thin. Yeah, so that's it's good. So we've done this, this one, and then we found uh, down in the bottom out here there was a little bit of a chip, a chip out of there, and uh, so we filled that in as well. So that uh, that has to dry now, and uh, then we'll be sanding that out, and uh, hopefully that's going to be it. I mean, this this thing's going to look better than the rest of the airplane. So. Uh, we may have to end up doing the whole airplane. Okay, now, now it's sanding spots. Time for those spots that look like measles. So that's the uh, filler that we put in, and it's uh, being sanded now by the uh, wet sandpaper. And uh, hopefully, that should eliminate some of the uh, deficiencies that we had in the. Yeah, that's better. The deficiencies that were showing up after we uh, put the uh, finished sanding the uh, sandable primer off. So how's it feel there, Ed? Good. Okay, good. Hopefully that's going to do it so we can uh, put the uh, final coat of paint on it. Okay, so after we've finished sanding it, this is what it's going to look like. This is the uh, finished product right here. So all the, the uh, deformities and all the little lines and cracks and whatnot that were left out in the gray sandable primer should be filled in by now with the body filler. And this is all sanded. We've got this all nicely sanded smooth. So now we're going to just take a tack cloth, go over it after we've cleaned it off uh, with the chamois and uh, then the finishing coat goes on. There we are folks, they're all painted, ready to be installed on the aircraft in the background out there. Uh, there's still some little flaws in there, but uh, you almost need a microscope to see it. So I'm quite happy with how they turned out. So you'll notice I've left them white. Um, and the reason why I'm leaving them white is the uh, blue is kind of hard to match so I thought white wing tips are fine it fits in with the rest of the rest of the aircraft anyway so as you can see as far as white's concerned it should be okay there's the uh, color scheme right now and uh, so basically we've got a white wing And the tips on the uh, stabilizer are white as well, so I thought I'd leave these white on this side out here. So we'll install them now and uh, see how that looks. Okay, the wing tips are installed, as you can see. Now we've left the uh, little bit of blue in around here. This is we've left this blue. It sort of offsets it. So we've left that blue, which kind of looks neat, I think. So now this is what it looks like as opposed to that totally being totally blue. And of course we'll walk over on this side and you'll see what it looks like over here. Right there.